Hello, back to Irish Football Fan TV. It's myself, Paul Needle, joined by Gary Curran, who's an old boy now. But uh, we're going to do a Road to Glory, and this time we're going to do it as the two of us. And we're going to get in. Uh, I know people were saying that the squads aren't updated, but we're going to go in and edit the Irish team and uh, pick a team bes between us uh, that we think is the best, because obviously the ratings are different to FIFA and so on. So we're going to get in and we are going to pick the team. Uh, because I think players like Richard Kyo and stuff are still in the squad who obviously aren't and uh, pick the team now. So here we go. So you can go into the national team selection and then Europe, Ireland. So I only got Pez the other day so and I started playing. I played about three hours last night so I'm kind of getting used to it. But it's cool. It's a good game. I think it's like a fiver online or something so you can't really go wrong. I think I got it for 20 uh, at the start of lockdown and I've just been flat out playing obviously with the legends and so on. I know you, you got it last night. So I this is the team I kind of picked already. Now there's obviously players we can add or take out. Um, so obviously Randolph and Goal, who will be the keeper anyway. Yeah. Shane Duffy, Kieran Clark, um, Seamus Coleman, Ender Stevens, Michael Abafemi is a 69. Um, then there's Jeff Hendrick in the field, Connor Howrahan, Robbie Brady, James McLean, David McGoldrick, uh, Kieran Westwood. There's only a um, one less than uh, Dan Randolph as a keeper rating. Um, John Egan, um, Matt Doherty, James McCarthy. Like when you're looking at it there, this is it's a it's a strong squad, isn't it? Harry Arthur. I'm not sure people will want him in. Alan George, Alan Brown, Dan Crowley. I know he's a bit of a random one, but it's still yeah. 74 rating, which is pretty good. Shane Long, 76 rating. So. Good rating. Callum Robinson, 72. So that's all the players, but if we look into it, so say we wanted to substitute Harry Arthur for someone, we'll go in and see who we can select ahead of him, and then you guys can... You know, ah. Wrong in the comments. Throwing John O'Shea in there would be fun, wouldn't it? And Glenn? He's 68. Like. What's Glenn? 70. I mean... Ahead of Harry Arthur, though, because Harry Arthur's in 74. Yeah, but who do you prefer, Glenn Whelan or Harry Arthur? Yeah, but it's about kind of having quality yeah, as well. But it's also about, we're, we're man management style, I think, as well, you know. You would be the coach and I'm I'm the one who has to deal with the players, you know. So I, I reckon I'd, uh, I prefer to deal with Glenno than than Harry. No offence, Harry. Right, you want Wheelow in there? Put Wheelow's are going in there, yeah. Look at him. Look at him, he's ready. He's ready for another year putting on that Irish jersey. Right. That's very interesting though. There's a good, good few players there that you could definitely throw in, isn't there? Uh, well, at least James McCarthy's in there, 76. So I thought like you Glenn Wheelow probably won't even play. Yeah. Um, what? Yeah, he's probably going to play. We'll see about that. But, uh, see, Dan Crowley's a 74, and that's why he's in there. I know he hasn't even been capped yet, but there was such a big hype about him, obviously, playing in Holland and yeah. stuff like that. So, um, looking around that team, and Derek Williams, 69, left back. I mean, Sean McGuire, 71. Okay, he might be. He might be one to throw in in well, Alan Judge is the same rating as him on the right. Yeah, so. but he looks well. He doesn't have one of those generic Pez faces. Like he has, he has a decent look, nice little trim there going on. Not many people have a good trim these days. So that, is, so so that, that could that be a reason. Him, look, it says dummy runner up there as well. So and he's you know he's only twenty five. I I reckon throw him in as well. That's just me. That's just he's me being awkward there. now. Do you know what? Like I I reckon just because of the haircut. Well, he is because look, I think it's comparing. Oh yes, he is way faster. Who who are we comparing George, him? Alan George. Yeah, throw him in there. Throw him in there. I don't think after that there's, there's much. <laughs> Paul's like, stop messing with the team. No, but I, I think maybe other than maybe Obafemi's obviously. Let's see. Let's let's, let's just compare Obafemi as well. I know he's a good mate of yours. Let's just compare him to whoever's there. We might we might see. We're gonna. Like, there's not many st more strikers or anything. I think there's Jay Jason and um, James Collins. Sorry. I think he's somewhere there. There's so Alan George, but Obafemi's way faster. Way faster, yeah. Um, Harry Arthur, no. You know what I mean. Scott Hogan, 71. He's better than him. Um, Cyrus Christie, way back, 73. Uh, Aidan O'Brien at Millwall. Um, Josh Cullen midfield. Conor Mass, Johnny Hayes at left mid, 74. It's not bad, is it? They're around the same speed. I think we might, might as well throw him in. Go for it. Go. Johnny Hayes is getting in over Michael Obafemi. That's a big shout, isn't it? Yeah, well, it's just ratings, isn't it, really? I mean, if Alba Femi was a 74, he'd be... But Glenn Whelan's in there, and, you know, there's a lot of players better than him, but he's just such a legend. Right, well, I think... Well, this is maybe Westwood. That's a very realistic squad. And maybe Johnny Hayes. So yeah. I know he's just left Celtic, so... Uh, but Dan Crowley's a 74, uh, 22, and uh, 
as an attacking midfielder, he's probably the best. He's better than Alan Brown in the game, um, by one. Um, and then, you know, Robert Brady's 76, but he's more of a winger in this game. So, yeah, I think that's... Decent. That's that's the team we're going to go... That's the squad we're going to go for. So, we're going to go Dan Lando, Shane Duffy, Kieran Clark, Seamus Coleman, Enda Stevens, Johnny Hayes, Jeff Hendrick, Connor Howrahan, Robbie Brady, James McKinnon. I must say I'm impressed by the... The pictures as well. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? They all look very realistic. McGoldrick. Maybe not McGoldrick, but there's a good few in there. Well, I actually great. edited him because he had Did a full head of hair. But he what? Looks better now. Um, obviously, that doesn't look. John Eagle looks very like him. Uh, Matt Darcy looks a bit ginger, but he's all right. James McCarthy looks yeah, like pretty James good. McCarthy. I edited Aaron Connolly as well, so his hair would look a bit more alike. <laughs> um, looks Glenn's perfect, isn't he? Yeah. And that's very good. I think we have our. I think Maguire might be our most handsome player. Which comes into it. Shane? Shane Long is a good looking lad as well, in fairness. And Callum Robinson doesn't have the crazy hair, but I mean, yeah, I think he has to be in there because we, we don't have a lot going on on the right hand side. We've a bit of everything though, don't we? Yeah, but I think Hendrick will probably start on the right first because he's a, his he's position a, in this game is right mid and he plays right mid for Burnley, so I think that's fair enough. the only reason why. But this is just going to be a little separate video as a teaser to kind of get into the game that you know we're going to be starting off the tournament now with the Euros, so... So that's really been it. So that's the squad. Let's know what you think of this squad. Um, we'll obviously have our first game up within a couple of hours of putting this video out. So let us know your thoughts in the comments and uh, make sure you're cheering us on because a lot of you didn't watch the Classic World Cup and didn't get behind us. I know you watched the FIFA one. So this is going to be like the FIFA one, but probably a bit more realistic and a bit more crazier celebrations if we do score, Yeah. for example. So let us know your thoughts in the comments on the squad and we hope to see you watching the videos with us live on our YouTube channel over the next coming weeks.